Welcome to this tutorial on creating a real-time leaderboard with Redis and Unreal Engine 5. To get you started, we have an example project named Redis Racer that you can download from GitHub. There is also a written version of this tutorial for your reference, the links to which will be in the description below. The prerequisites for this tutorial are Unreal Engine 5, VS Code or an IDE of your choosing, Docker Desktop, and optionally Postman to test our game back in REST API later on. For our leaderboard, we will be using a sorted set as the data type. A sorted set is a collection of unique strings called members ordered by an associated score which is perfect for showing the names and current scores of the top scoring players. Now let's get into it. If you haven't already done so, download the project from GitHub and unzip it. Then open it in VS Code. Now let's take a quick look at the game back and leaderboard code specifically the add leaderboard entry and the get leaderboard functions. For add leaderboard entry, first we are going to get the Redis client and create a date object. Then we are going to use the Redis client to send the z add command to add a new member to a sorted set. If there is currently no sorted set, with this key, the z add command will also create a new sorted set. Note that the member is the initials of the player appended to the current timestamp to allow for multiple entries of the same player initials to be added to the leaderboard. If the result is an integer greater than zero, the z add command was successful, otherwise the command failed. Now for the get leaderboard function, similarly we will get the Redis client. This time we are sending a z range command with the options with scores and rev for reverse. This to show the top scores in descending order. When we later call this function, we will pass a count integer for the total number of entries we want to retrieve. Since the result is a zero based array, we will pass in zero for the start parameter and count minus one for the stop parameter. If the result is an empty array, no leaderboard entries were found. Now we're ready to run the game back end service. Copy the environment variable example to your environment variables by running the cp command. Then run docker compose up to spin up the docker containers. Now that the Docker containers are up and running, it's time to test our game backend REST API. There's two ways you can do this. The first way is using curl commands in the command prompt. And you can find the curl commands in the description. The first curl command will call the get leaderboard function via the REST API. It is a get API call to our local host URL on port 3000 forward slash key name of the sorted set with the count query parameter for the total number of entries to retrieve. The second command is for the add leaderboard entry function. It's a post API call with a JSON body comprising of 
the value of key for the key of the sword it's set. For this tutorial, it will be Redis Racer as the name of our leaderboard sorted set. Note that this is different from the get API call where the key name is in the URL. The value of score will be the player score and the value of member will be the player's initials. Note that the break characters for the double quotes, the backslash, are required for the JSON body if you're using the command prompt on Windows. I will run the curl command for the add leaderboard entry a few more times to add a couple of entries to our leaderboard. Alternatively, we can also use Postman to test the API. Click import and paste in the curl command. I usually just keep the three required headers and beautify the JSON body. Now I will import the get leaderboard API call. Remember to change Redis Racer to the key name of your sorted set. And the count parameter to the number of entries you wish to retrieve. I will now add a few more entries to the leaderboard. Let's make Kif the top score to test the get leaderboard API call. And there we have it. The game backend is now set up and tested. If you like this tutorial series so far, feel free to like and comment, subscribe for more Redis game dev content, and in the next episode, we will set up the Redis Racer project in Unreal Engine 5. In the meantime, you can take a look at the written tutorial for the series. All links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.